Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my blush collection video. So if you guys are nosy, if you like to see all of the blushes in my collection, then just keep watching. first time on my channel. Welcome, my name is Karen Harris. I like to post tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I typically post about two to three times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, and we are full swing ahead for the holiday season here on my channel, and typically people like to post their collection videos around this time of year. So if you like collection videos, if you like to see new makeup, if you like tan girl friendly makeup, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I love blush. Blush is like my second favorite thing when it comes to makeup. I love eyeshadow palettes and then blush. And honestly, I feel like I was in denial about how much blush was in my collection until I started like going through this drawer. And not only do I have a powder blush drawer, I also have a cream blush drawer, which could be considered excessive depending on what side of the fence you're on. I think I should just make it a cream product drawer and put like my cream highlighters and my cream bronzers in there, but we'll see how it goes. It's getting a little chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> in my drawers, but I had so much fun going through my blush collection. So let's go ahead, let's zoom in, and let's look at all the blushes in my makeup collection. Okay, so for blush, I have all of these beautiful Kaleidos ones from their Smoky Nostalgia collection. I think I need to move these into my face palette collection, but these are all the new face palettes from Adept Cosmetics. I bought all of them with my own money and they are so beautiful. These are two unearthly blushes from their sleepover collection. I'm gonna put this in my face palette drawer with my other Sigma duos. This is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. You know, I always thought it was my eyeshadow palette collection that was an obsession, but as soon as I started going through my blush collection, I think I have a blush hoarding problem too. So yeah, buckle up, but these are all my Pat McGrath blushes and some of them are definitely nicer than others. These duo ones that she did in 2022, I feel like they're not necessary and I kind of just bought them because I was like, oh, cute, but I prefer their face palettes and then I really like this like nude blush, but I don't really wear a lot of her other blushes because they're so pigmented. So. I would say if you don't have any and you're like wanting to start a collection, maybe just get like one or two max. I swear I like gasped when I got this Odin's IPR package because I have the highlighters from the Soul Mantu collection. These are the blushes and they're so gorgeous. It was such a much needed upgrade for Odin's Eye because they have the ones in the cardboard packaging, but I feel like this collection really elevated the brand and it's such a nice touch. Okay, so I found the older blush packaging from Odin's Eye. They actually sent me, I think, most of these. So I have, I think, all of the shades that they have in this Alva collection. I'm definitely gonna keep these, but I really like the Solmon packaging. Okay, I have some ColourPop blushes from the Hello Kitty and also from the Powerpuff Girls collection. I will say I don't use these enough, but I'm gonna keep them because I really like the ColourPop blush formula. These ones were gifted from, I think, Il Maquillage. I don't really reach for them. They're so pretty, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. I really enjoy this Jaclyn Hill Loose Blush in Loverboy. You guys know how much I love an orange blush, so I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, so I have some really pretty melt powder kind of blush highlighters. And I know I have some more, so I'm sure I'll find them in drawers, but these are gorgeous. This is the Illumination Highlighter. This one is, what is it called, Genesis, and it's the reason I didn't buy the one from Lady Gaga, because I feel like they're so similar. This one is so pigmented and stunning that I'm afraid to put it on my face, so I really need to, <laughs> I need to try that one out, but those are some of my Melt Blush Highlighters. 
This Natasha Denona blush is one of my favorites. I think this was limited edition and it is called the Mini Bloom Highlighter. And then this one is not my favorite, but I decided to keep it. Um, this was from their Love Palette, like the Mini Love Palette launch from, I don't know, a year or two ago, I think. Okay, these are old KVD blushes. I don't think you can buy them anymore. I really like this one, so I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna declutter this one because it's a little bit too cool tone for me. I'm a little scared to wear it, so I never do, but this one is beautiful. As you can see, when I decided to try Kimchi Chic Beauty, I did not mess around, so I bought two blushes. These are really pretty. I don't know if I should keep them though because I don't really see myself reaching for these. I haven't reached for them in all of 2022, so maybe I should try and free up some space in my makeup collection. I think I might declutter these. Um, yeah. This is Adults Only by Nabla. It's one of my favorite blushes of all time. I only have two of the Vive blushes, but they're so beautiful. They're a little bit expensive because they're a UK based brand. So I would love to own more products from Vive, but I haven't bought from them in a while just cause, but these two are gorgeous. One of my favorite drugstore brands is Milani and their baked blushes are so good. This is Red Vino and Coralista. I've had Red Vino for so long and it's the most beautiful blush for fall. This is the Be Perfect blush in heat. It's so beautiful. It's like a baked gelée blush. I feel like if you study my blush drawer for long enough, you'll see what kind of shades I'm into. This is from Huda's Glowish line. I have this blush. It's not really a favorite of mine, but I do have it. This is Best Buds from Menagerie and it's a beautiful glowy blush. So you guys know why I have it. This is from Kiko Milano. It's just a beautiful like neutral nude blush. This is the Blonzer, I think is what it's called from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Kiss of Rose. And then I think this is a highlighter from Pixie. And I think somebody sent this to me and I like to wear it as a blush. It's super glowy. I definitely feel like I have more bougie highlighters than blushes, but these are two new ones in my collection from Gucci Beauty. I really like this one. It's like a berry something shade, but yeah, these are so cute. I mean, look at this packaging. Of course I had to get them. If you didn't pick up any of these RMS blushes during the Sephora sale, shame on you. They're so beautiful. Again, another Bake Gelée type formula. They're so gorgeous. I bought all of these full price because they kept selling out. So I signed up for notifications on Sephora and every time one came back in stock, I grabbed it. These ones from Buxom were part of an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and everybody kept talking about how good they were. So I grabbed two shades and they were right. They're really nice. These are two giant. <laughs> when I say giant, I mean, these are huge. These are from Give Me Glow. So I bought two of them and the shade names are Hey Honey and Twin Flames. These are some of the most beautiful blushes in my collection from Lethal Cosmetics, that orange one and this like more neutral one are so stunning. I have so many different blushes from Lethal Cosmetics, but if you can only get one, definitely consider this or this from this particular like marble collection they did. Okay, you guys know how much I love Sigma Beauty. I recently did a favorite set with them and I included one of the blushes. I don't think I have Tiger Lily down here, but if you haven't seen my reveal video, highly recommend checking it out. It's the most beautiful peachy blush. But these are some of the other blushes from the Sigma Singles collection. And I know some of these were also in their face palette, like their blush palette. So if you have that, make sure you're not buying dupes. But these are so nice. And I love that they're individually packaged, especially because if you don't want to lug around a big blush palette, you can still take your favorites with you. And this one's Corda Rosa. I have it too. I forgot to include it in that previous shot. This is a blush from ZZ Cosmetics that was sent to me. This is one of my very recent blush purchases. This is Starla from Benefit. And I also grabbed this Sephora blush from the Sephora sale. This is the shade Fascinated. So I have so many blushes that I've decided that I have a powder blush drawer and a cream blush drawer. These were all the cream blushes and liquid blushes that were in my powder blush drawer. So I separated them into this basket. So now I'm gonna use this opportunity to organize my cream blushes a little bit better. When I tell you the cream blush collection is out of 
freaking control. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. But there are some powder blushes in here, so we're gonna have to do some relocating. Good thing we freed up some space in the powder blush drawer, and I think I'm gonna have to declutter some things because this is just, this is just too much. Okay, so we already know these are in the wrong drawer, so I need to move them into the powder drawer, but these are the blush duos from Julia's Place. They're so good, and they launched a bunch of new shades, and I actually have them, but they're in a different drawer, and I just, I just can't deal right now, so I'm just gonna show you these two, but no, I have all the other shades as well. Another one of my favorite Natasha Denona blushes is this one in Alba and it's stunning. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but it's just the most glowy, gorgeous, corally blush. Okay, when I like something, I go a little bit extra and I buy like a lot of it. So these are all of my Patrick Ta blushes and technically they're one part cream and one part powder. So they would technically work in either drawer. So I might actually move them into my powder drawer because I kind of want to keep all my favorites close and these are Definitely some of my favorites. One of his recent ones that he launched, I think it's this one. Um, she's blushing. Really like that. Really like, oh, she's different. So they make some really nice blushes and I really enjoy them. You better be taking notes on all my favorite blushes because I have some really good ones, you guys. Okay, this is the Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So you can use these on your cheeks or on the lips. I bought this because I did like a Danessa Myricks video. I hauled a bunch of their stuff and this is cute. It's definitely not my favorite cream, but I will hold on to it. Okay, you know I love an orange blush. This is Vava Boom by uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics. I feel like it's a little dark on me, but I haven't decluttered it, so I think I need to try it one more time and decide. I found a few that have escaped from the powder drawer. These are from ColourPop. I think they launched them during, sorry, I wanna try and open one. First of all, these are incredibly hard to open and I think they launched like limited edition during like Valentine's or something the first time and then they launched more shades. They're really cute. I'd love to show them to you, but honestly, this video is already gonna be a million years long. So I'm gonna spare you the energy, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these because I don't reach for them. So this is kind of a random assortment of some of my favorite blushes. These ones are from Melt and they're called their blush lights and they're just super pretty glowy blushes. I have two shades. We've got Sundown and Nevermore and they look like this. This is Becca Sweet Pea. I am never getting rid of this. My husband called me Sweet Pea when we first started dating, and this is actually a really pretty blush, so I'm gonna hold on to it. And I also really like this shade Songbird. I'm pretty sure Jacqueline is the one that made this one popular. Remember I said Milani makes awesome big blushes? These were a newer launch, and I mean, you can see these colors are so me, so I'm definitely gonna keep these. Here is the only other Nabla blush I have. This is the shade True. I definitely love adults only a little bit more, but I have both of them. Hands down, the most beautiful single hourglass blush of all time. This is At Night, and I've been looking for this. I want to put this in my shop, my stash. This is the only blush I have from Kevin Aquan, but it's so beautiful. It's called Sunset. Here I was thinking I was so organized, but I have so many powder blushes in my so-called cream drawer, but this is one from NARS. Honestly, I forgot I even had this. And then this is a shade from Menagerie. I can't remember what it's called, but it's another one of their pretty glowy blushes. So I have that one too. And then this is the Gigi blush from Unearthly. So pretty. Okay, we can finally talk about cream blushes. So I have a lot of really good ones from the drugstore. These ones from Flower Beauty are so, so nice. I'm definitely gonna keep those. And then another one from the drugstore as far as cream blushes go that you don't wanna sleep on are these Profusion blushes. I think they're like $6. I think I ended up buying all of them because they are that good. I have these two Profusion ones from a collection that they launched I think this year, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these because I like these, but I like their liquid blushes better. I'm kind of an excessive human being and I had never tried these Say blushes, but they had a really good sale I think last Black Friday, so I did a full face of Say Beauty and I really like their liquid blushes. I have one of these NYX Sweet Cheek blushes because of course it's like a hot orange shade. It's nice, I mean, I definitely prefer my Profusion ones and the Flower Beauty ones, but 
I'm gonna hold on to this. I have all of the Tower 28 cream blushes. I can't help but want to collect these. So I keep buying them, but I really don't get enough use out of them. So I need to just like not buy any more of these or use these ones up. The ColourPop Super Shock blushes are some of my faves. This shade I don't see myself wearing, so I'm gonna declutter, but I'm definitely keeping the rest of these. And I've got a few more ColourPop blushes as well. These e.l.f. Putty blushes from the drugstore are actually pretty nice. I have two shades and I can't remember what they're called, but they're super pretty and it's nice to have drugstore options, so I'm gonna hold on to these. I did buy a bunch of the cloud paints from Glossier. These are really nice liquid blushes as well. I think I got these Merit blushes in PR. They're okay, they're definitely not my favorite. I think I need to try them some more and then decide if I wanna declutter them or keep them. I was really excited when ColourPop launched these cheek dues, but I didn't think this was that great. It's very, very lightly pigmented. And look, it's like separating. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. Okay, here's another powder blush that escaped into the cream drawer. This is Sundown from Melt, and it's one of my favorite blushes. It's just like the most beautiful, neutral, shimmery blush. I really like the Melt cream blushes. So I have a few shades. I think I have more than two, but these are the only two I can find at the moment. And these are the names I have polished and pinched. I love this MAC blush in the shade Groovy. I need to wear it some more. I haven't worn this in a while, but it's so pretty. I bought this Clinique blush in the shade Ruby Pop, and I think it's like a shimmery blush, and it's actually a powder, so it needs to go into my other drawer. These have so much hype to them, but I didn't think it was that great, so I'm like, not that impressed by them. So if you've been curious about them, I think they're just okay. But I definitely have blushes in my collection that I like a lot more than this. Okay, a year or two ago, I formed a very unhealthy Kosas obsession. So I like bought everything Kosas, but I haven't used these in forever. I think I'm gonna keep this like neutrally one and declutter these two. Okay, I got these from the brand Rodal for a sponsorship or something. I honestly haven't used them since, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. Colored Rain also makes really beautiful cream blushes. I got this in one of their collections. I can't remember which one, but these are what they look like. I love this little palette from MAC. I can't remember who they collaborated with, but I just thought this was so, so beautiful. Definitely tinier than what I thought, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this. I like having drugstore cream blush options and the Milani ones are very nice. I have one of these from Smashbox. This is the Halo Sheer to Stay Color Tint Lip and Cheek. And you guys know it's a hot coral shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this. I have one Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Joy. I think this is nice, but I definitely have drugstore liquid blushes that I prefer. So I would steer you in the way of like the Profusions than this one for the price, but I know this is a very hyped product at Sephora. These Hourglass blushes definitely don't get enough hype. Again, like I said, I have a lot of favorites from Hourglass that I need to like put in a video, but this is one of the colors. Okay, so I clearly went ham on the Fenty Beauty Cream blushes. I swear these were like the first mainstream cream blushes that I remember seeing at Sephora. So when they launched, I went a little crazy and bought a bunch of shades. I will say definitely not like my favorite cream blush formula of all the ones I've shown you today, but I really like the shades, so I'm gonna hold on to them. But again, I can't recommend some of the drugstore ones I showed you today enough because they're so good. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun going through my blush collection, decluttering a few things, recommending products to you guys because for the longest time in my head, I'm like, I gotta film my favorite blushes. I gotta film my favorite blushes. So I hope you guys were taking notes on some of my favorite formulas. There's so many wonderful blushes out there, so many different price points. I'm actually wearing the At Night blush from Hourglass. I was so happy that I got to go through my blush drawer so I could find the makeup that I had been salivating over for the last few weeks. But yeah, I love blush so much. Hopefully I can really enjoy what I have now that I've gone through my collection, reminded myself of everything that's in it, decluttered some of the things that I wasn't using. I'm even more excited to dive into it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the collection. Let me know down in the comments what is your all-time favorite blush? If you have a shade or a palette, 
I would love to hear from you guys and I hope you enjoyed this collection video. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you back for another collection video very very soon. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.